All right, so story time. Had a little bit of a fun day today. My buddy calls me up. He says, I think the battery's dead in my car. He's an electrician by trade, but he doesn't have any sockets. This guy wouldn't know a dipstick from a gas cap. No offense, Jake. Good buddy of mine, whatever. Long story short, calls me, says, I think my battery's dead, but I don't have any sockets. I don't want to try and take off my terminals with linesman pliers, rightfully so. So he asked me to come over. I'm like, sure, no problem, I'll come over. Also happens to be his birthday. Happy birthday, Jake. Uh, so I go over, take the battery out, throw the new battery in. Easy, right? No problem. So we're talking. Before we even start it up, we're talking. I come to find out that he had just replaced this battery like a year ago. And I was like, dude, I wish I had known that in the first place. Maybe it's it's probably your alternator. It's probably not the battery. So, I don't know if you guys are going to see that or not, but I accidentally just hit the volume button. Anyway, so get to the point, dude. So, we turn the car on. Runs for a little bit. Car shuts right back off. I'm like, well, dude, it's your fucking alternator. So, I test the old battery. Old battery's fine. So he's like, all right, well, could you do me a favor? Take the new one out, whatever. So this is how we get to this point. I don't remember what I needed it for. Or take the new battery out, put the old battery back in, because he wants to take that back, right? Okay, cool. So, whatever. I don't know what I was doing or why I needed them, but pull out the fucking Leatherman. I've had this Leatherman for eight, nine years now. This is the Wave. Uh, I had one or two small problems with it, like there's a very fine flathead on it that broke because I loaned it to somebody and they misused it. And the cutters, oh, I did it again, the cutters are going, starting to go. A couple months ago, I emailed the lady and said, listen, you know, how do I go about the warranty process, blah, 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 that and the other thing. Because this particular knife has a lot of set amount of sentimental value to me. My dad got it for me for Christmas one year. Uh, he died, I don't know, five years ago this November, right? So I, I made it very clear that I don't want a new knife or anything like that. And she said, well, all you got to do is, is fill out the warranty thing, click sentimental, have the tool back if it can't be fixed. But that was when it was just the cutters and that one little screwdriver. So I didn't really press the idea too much. I liked having my, you know, my Leatherman. I use it every day have, you know, a little backup over here that I haven't touched in years. And I have a couple other ones that just are not nearly the same quality. So we're going to test the warranty process for Leatherman. Now, you know, obviously this will all come apart and I'll just probably just replace the heads and whatever. So, but, you know, it's two to three weeks is what it, or two to four weeks is what it said. I didn't actually read. You fill out the thing online. They send you an email. I didn't actually read the email because I wanted to make sure it stayed at the top of my inbox. So I'm going to go to work tomorrow and print out the, the sheet or whatever. So this is honestly just a really, really long story about the Leatherman warranty process. I don't know how I broke this. I'm pretty sure I didn't. And I know I didn't loan it to anybody because anybody I would loan it to wouldn't give it back to me like this. I don't know if I dropped it or if I tried to squeeze too tight on something. I probably dropped it. I'm not sure, but I was very upset because it had been in my pocket or in its pouch, and I didn't even notice. And if I did drop it, it shouldn't have broken anyway because I couldn't have dropped it from more than anything but my standing height. So, kind of upset about that. I really hope that they can get it back to me in a timely fashion because I'm going to have to use this freaking dinosaur that I haven't touched in years. You can see I got it all out because I needed to re-lube it and clean it and stuff, but... Because I didn't put it away properly, but I think it hasn't been touched in eight years. So, that's my story for the day. Also, just to top things off, I go to get in my car. After driving it around all day, you know, like an hour before I got to go to work, because I got to run some errands to work at the pool hall. You know, I got to get my dinner, I got to get some gas. My car doesn't fucking start. 
terrible. Battery's completely dead. Luckily, I have some great women in my life. They did me a huge favor. Went and bought the battery. Because I took my old lady's car to work because I had to go. Because at that point, after screwing it around, screwing around, putting it on the charger, blah, 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 testing it, everything, all that crap. It was time to go to work. Now, it's 2 o'clock in the morning because I was at the pool hall until after midnight. And, of course, there was a lot of cussing. But the car started up okay, so I'll be able to get to work in the morning for my real regular job. So, uh, you know, sorry to bother you. This is really not that great of a video, but I haven't made videos in a long time. So let's see how this goes, man. I'm really interested to see if they, you know, give it back to me. You know, say they can't fix it. I don't understand why they wouldn't. I'm sure I'm well within the warranty. It's 25 years. It's not a lifetime. I did forget to mention the little screwdriver in the thing, but I'll probably just um, write a note when I ship it off. I imagine the shipping is on me. Like I said, I didn't read that second email. I'm really not even that prepared for this video. But uh, my buddy Neil, the maintenance man, said this would be a great idea for a video. So here I am doing a video at 2 o'clock in the morning. Also, he said I wouldn't post it. So, just to spite his ass, I am posting it tonight. So, like I said, sorry to bother you. Wish me luck. Because I was, I mean, dude, as soon as I opened these up, I was really fucking upset. But that's that. 